Hey YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul and welcome to another remake video. Today we'll be remaking Ray Swerman's track Swang, so let's get straight to it. Now I am cheating a little bit here. I did take a sample from the original track. I'm going to show you what I took in a moment. Our session is set to 140 beats per minute and this is what I'm cheating with. I sampled the original track's uh, beginning part so I didn't have to remake that sound. So that's what I sampled from the original track, hopefully you forgive me, and uh, I'm going to use this as a foundation to what we're going to build out now. So let's go ahead and create a new softer instrument track and bring in that main brass sound. Uh, let's go ahead and just arrange this track as well as we go. So this will be our intro into our brass sound part. And uh, through my sort of trial and error, I found a preset that actually sounds close to the one in the track, and uh, it is included within the Synapse Dune 2 plugin. And the preset is number nine, I believe it was. Yeah, Eagle Lead RH. And it sounds fairly close to the brass sound in Swang. So let's go ahead and draw out that pattern. If I can draw this MIDI region here, having some troubles. There we go. Okay, so let's draw in that pattern. <laughs> Or one octave lower. Is our main sort of melody if you will or pattern the main sound from the track that's pretty much the focus of the beat and as you can see it's fairly close to the one in the track and it's not exactly it but it's fairly close so let's go ahead and um, bring in the next instrument actually before we go ahead and jump uh, from the sound I'm gonna go ahead and add in a quick delay here so we're gonna bring in a tape delay and we're gonna use a preset I always use is just my EDM preset delay it's just an eighth note uh, delay here. And I'm going to bring in some more reverb as well. So let's go ahead to reverb and go to Space Designer Stereo. And I'm just going to use the default settings here as well. I don't want to waste too much time here looking for sounds. So let's go ahead and open up Dune 2. I just want to adjust the noise level here. That's a little bit of grit there. So let's go ahead and create a new softer instrument track and go ahead and bring in the brass instrumentation. So another set of brass instruments. Uh, I'm going to create a MIDI region. And uh, what we're going to do here is open up our search browser tool and type in brass. And we need to bring in some brass on the offbeat. So let's just go ahead and bring in brass ensemble legato. Sure, we may change that later. And let's go ahead and draw in our pattern. Go to a nicer low octave. So as I said, we're doing it on the offbeat here. So as soon as the other one hits, this one will hit right after. To a D. Go to 
See if we push these higher. Okay. So we want to go higher here. Let's go ahead and change this sound here. Maybe we won't use this one. Let's do staccato. I think I like that better. So let's go ahead and um, bring in our next sound and that's will be our 808. Let's go ahead and bring in a new software instrument track. And we're gonna bring in that 808 that we always use in every single track and that is Logic's ES2 synthesizer and the preset that we use is the 808 preset. It's pretty much the only 808 you'll ever need or at least for me, I like to use it in a lot of things. I use it in a lot of different scenarios. So let's just go ahead and draw in the pattern here. Actually, before we do, what happens here in the track is this continues. Uh, this one over here, this main brass pattern. It gets pushed up one octave. And then the 808s come in once that goes higher. So let's bring in those 808s. Once again, we're gonna go to a low octave here. And uh, we're just pretty much gonna go on the G note. This pattern is pretty basic when it comes to sort of hip hop trap music, so it's fairly easy for me just to draw it in without listening to the pattern. Because I pretty much do this all the time. All right, so let's go ahead and just adjust this 808 to make it sound better. So let's add some distortion. Let's add some drive. I'm gonna bring up the attack a little bit so it's not so clicky. I'm gonna bring down the sustain just a little bit so it's not sustaining the entire time. Maybe make their release a little quicker as well. So 
there is our 808 for that section over there. And uh, while this 808 is playing, we also have another sound that we got to put in. So let's get to that. All right, so let's go ahead and create a new softer instrument track. And what we're going to create right here is just a tension building sound that's in the track itself uh, before the drums sort of kick in, sort of a little drop there. Uh, so what we're going to do is bring in Logic's ES2 synthesizer. And what we're going to do right here is just use the preset settings that already come into play because we just need a sawtooth oscillator. And uh, I'm going to draw in a MIDI region. And we're just going to do one sustaining note. And that's what you usually do when you want to build tension. Uh, so let's go ahead up to G. Maybe one octave lower. So just mold that sound to be a little bit more fitting for the track. Put the delay up a little bit. Bring down the sustain. So it kind of hits and then sort of dies out over time. Bring it to decay a little bit. detuning over there it's just a sound in the background that sort of creates tension and sometimes the listener won't even know that that's there let's just add in some reverb to this one and again we're just going to use the default settings here and we're going to apply a little automation to this one over here so let's change our automation to region and um, what we're going to do here is just push this up Ooh. Make sure we click here, and then what we're gonna do here is just do a nice little build up here. Again, it's very subtle. Most listeners might not even know it's there, but it's helping to create tension and let the listeners know that, hey, something is coming up, and this is what's gonna happen once this ends. So let's go ahead and bring in our drums. Let's go ahead and bring in a new softer instrument track. And it's gonna be an EXS24 track. Uh, so let's bring that in here. And uh, before the tutorial started, I uh, created my own drum kit here, the Ray Swimmer Swang drum kit. So I'm gonna bring that in and uh, we can start programming in our drums. And let's start with the kick. Uh, but, but before we do that, let's just go ahead and uh, copy this section over because that's what's gonna be uh, in play once these drums come into the song. So let's go ahead and draw in our kick. So this pattern pretty much repeats itself. Uh, so actually we could just leave it four bars, I guess. It's pretty much the same pattern. Just gonna make this a little louder. All right, next let's go ahead and duplicate this track and bring in our clap and snap, or sorry, clap and snare. So because this song has such a fast BPM, we're going at half time here. So it's gonna be on the uh, three right here. Let's just go ahead and add in some reverb to this here. Uh, we could just quickly use the same preset again. I'm just rushing here just to get this uh, tutorial quick and uh, done as fast as possible. Now 
next, let's go ahead and uh, duplicate this track because we don't want the reverb in play. And uh, we're going to draw in a hi-hat pattern, which in this song, it's pretty simple. Uh, I'm going to go ahead into my brush tool. Uh, where is it here? Here's the brush tool. I'm going to change my value to eighth notes because I want an eighth note hi-hat repeat. And there's our hi-hat pattern. Alright, last but not least, let's go ahead and bring in the verse 808. It's sort of this crazy 808 glides. So let's get to that. So let's go ahead and uh, bring in another 808. So I'm going to copy this one over here because we're going to use the same 808 sound, except we're going to use one with, um, with some glides in it. So let's go ahead and uh, find a nice low octave and uh, draw in this 808 pattern. So because we're going to get some glides happening, we're going to want to drag this note overlapping the next note. notice the notes don't glide right now because we have to turn on glide in our 808 so over here we're going to pull up the glide that's why i said this 808 is pretty much the only one you'll ever need because there's so many things you can do with this you kind of get like a push and pull effect like you're bouncing with that 808 Glides. Now we have that in our verses. And that's pretty much the beat right there. I mean, you can go ahead and start arranging this track, but I'll let you guys do that with the downloadable uh, session link in the bottom. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and preview what we've got so far. So we got our intro into those brass sounds, into the higher pitch brass sound that brings us into our verse. And then you kind of go win, rinse, wash, and repeat that uh, sort of uh, pattern. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, play out from the beginning. So that right there is a quick remake of Ray Storbert's track, Swang. Uh, for your Logic users out there, I'm going to go ahead and place this as a downloadable link in the description box below. So download that and make your own remake of Swang if you want to go ahead and arrange this. For you non-Logic users out there, got your back as well as usual. I'm going to go ahead and export all these MIDI stems here. I'm going to export the drum kit and all the sounds that you hear in this track you'll have in a nice play pack downloadable playback for you guys to put into your own DAW. So again, find all those links in the description box below. If you do have any questions on this one, you can ask me in the comment section below. And for more great swag remakes like this one, remember to hit that subscribe button and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Talk to you all soon. Later. Peace.